hello to everyone. I decided to take you to a very special place today. I drove almost two hours from uh, the city of Gettenberg uh, to get into the depths of the Ural Mountains and we are in the small town of Nivyansk now. This place is famous for this tower. You see, it is leaning. It was built in 1721. Um, it was the order of Akin Fedimidov, kind of the master of these places. And um, there are different versions how did it happen that it is leaning. I liked one version the most. Um, Akin Fedimidov was hiding some treasures, some coins, and um, and inspector had to come soon and he, he found out about it and uh, he decided to flood uh, the underground floor and that's why it is leaning uh, but maybe it is just uh, because of some mistakes during the construction From the ancient times, the Urals was famous for its minerals and was one of the main industrial and mining centers of the Russian Empire. Peter I attached great value to it and ordered to build the city of Nivyansk and two plants on the river Neva for the smelting of iron and cast iron. The tower itself was supposed to be used as bell towers, prison, laboratory, guard post, factory, archive. The basement of the tower was reserved for prison. On the second floor was a cabinet of Demidov. On the third there was a laboratory and a an oven. In the suit taken from the chimney, one found out the traces of silver and gold. There were different versions how they could occur there. According to one of them, Demidov was mining fake coins there. And this must be the courts of arms of this city. Фигуры перед вами Каристанта на отношении не имеют. В аристанские палатки когда-то, в 18-19 веках, заточали тех, кто дисциплину нарушал. То есть это была не тюрьма. Сюда отправляли тех, кого считали нужным заводчики или приказчики за какие-то нарушения. So the old pins were out of order eventually uh, and uh, they were made of iron first and um, in the modern times uh, they were replaced with a titan. 
So the seal is made of titan. First time I see something like this. Uh, you see, this is the listening room. Uh, people are whispering in different corners and they hear each other. Uh, it happens because of the uh, flattering and This happens because of the. Uh, It's because of the vaulted and flattened ceiling. Движение приходит в систему угольников, приводит движение молотки. Молотки ударяют по колоколам и звучит мелодия. За музыкальным валом собственной часы. Сейчас замолчу, тихо и опять услышите. А маятник сейчас вы его увидите. Ну вот часы отбили половину четвертого. Они не ошиблись, отбивая четыре отдельных удара. Это именно половина четвертого. Ибо каждая четверть часа обозначена своим количеством ударов. We are inside the top wall. You see the dial is outside. Uh, besides, I wanted to tell you something I was amazed about. Actually, this uh, clock was much more expensive than the whole tower. It was bought uh, and it was made by the English watchmaker Richard, Richard Phelps. Uh, the clock used to cost five thousand rubles and the whole tower was something like four thousand rubles. Amazing, isn't it? Actually, uh, this is almost the only place where the floor is authentic. Made in the 18th century, it survived all these centuries. So this is the real provincial Russia we wanted to see. It mainly consists of such small towns without glittering, without posh buildings. Population like 10 or 15 thousand people. Можно вниз до самой земли. Если вопросов нет, то его предоставлю. As you know, I like mysteries on my channel. One more mystery for you. I'm really interested in your opinions now. So, uh, this lightning rod was installed uh, on this tower in 1730. And it is officially known that it was kind of uh, invented in Russia in 1753 by Lomonosov and in the United States as well by Franklin in 1952, as far as I remember. So, how could this lightning rod appear on this tower in 1730? So, do you have any suggestions? I don't have any explanations. Uh, and, as far as I know, the lightning hit... Uh, <laughs> the lightning hit this tower 140 times. So, what do you think? So the height of the tower is 57 meters and it is leaning up to 2 meters of the angle of leaning. I hope you liked this video. I just wanted to show you something interesting, something very far away in such conditions. hope it's not forever, but at least hope you enjoyed this video from the depths of Russia. Bye.
Tschüss, ja.